Inserting an intravenous catheter is an essential procedure in a variety of clinical situations. Common reasons to place an IV include fluid replacement, medication or blood product administration, and to give diagnostic agents, such as contrast. Preparing your equipment prior to starting an intravenous catheter promotes both efficiency and effectiveness. Lay out an appropriately sized catheter, 1% lidocaine in a tuberculin syringe, alcohol or chlorhexidine swabs, tape, gauze, an IV fluid bag with connected tubing, a tourniquet, and tegaderm. Keep the equipment within easy reach. Intravenous catheter sizes are indicated by the colored case and same colored hub. An 18-gauge green catheter is often appropriate for adults. There are multiple appropriate veins available for IV catheter placement. Frequently used sites include the median cubital vein in the anticubital fossa, the external jugular vein in the neck, and veins in the forearm and hand. The position of the patient during insertion depends on the site where the IV is to be placed. Here we demonstrate an intravenous catheter placement in the dorsum of the hand. Drape the patient's arm over the side of the bed to increase the venous blood in the extremity and help you to identify a suitable vein. If you have difficulty finding a vein, try one of the following techniques. Tie the tourniquet above the patient's wrist and re-examine the hand. This allows venous blood to accumulate in the vessel and will engorge the vein, making it easier to recognize. Ensure that the extremity is positioned below the level of the patient's heart. This will passively fill the veins with blood and improve your ability to visualize a vein. Gently tap on the vein, encouraging venous filling of the vessel. After a vein is identified, tie a tourniquet proximal to the site of IV insertion. Pull each side of the tourniquet until the band is taut. Fold one end under the other, such that it will be easy to remove the tourniquet with one hand. Clean the vein and surrounding skin with a chlorhexidine swab. Allow the chlorhexidine to dry before proceeding with IV insertion. If an elective IV is being placed, Use local anesthetic to numb the skin and make the patient more comfortable. Create a small wheel in the subcutaneous tissue. Identify the beveled side of the needle. The bevel should face upward, away from the patient's skin, when the needle and catheter are inserted. While applying tension to the skin, gently insert the needle and catheter into the dorsal surface of the hand at a 30 to 45 degree angle. Advance the catheter slowly into the vein, watching at all times for a flash of blood. When the flash occurs, decrease the angle of the catheter. Advance the needle and catheter together, approximately one half centimeter. Gently push the catheter forward while holding the needle steady with your thumb and middle finger. Blood should flow freely into the catheter if it is correctly placed. If you fail to thread the catheter into the vein despite obtaining a flash and good blood flow, the catheter may be sitting against a venous valve. If gentle effort to move the catheter through the valve is unsuccessful, leave the catheter in place for three to five minutes. This allows a clot to form over the catheter and will help prevent a hematoma at the site of insertion. After threading the catheter, occlude the proximal end of the catheter and remove the needle. Untie the tourniquet. Secure the IV tubing to the catheter by turning the port clockwise onto the catheter hub. Watch the IV drip chamber to determine if fluid is flowing freely through the catheter. This indicates that the catheter is correctly located in the vein and that it is functioning. Place a small piece of tape under the catheter hub and fold each side upward across the hub, then attach it to the patient's skin. 
Tegaderm should be placed over the hub and catheter entry site to keep the skin clean and dry. When placing a catheter in the hand, loop the tubing away from the insertion site and secure the tubing to the patient's wrist and forearm. This decreases the amount of tension placed on the IV and will help to prevent the catheter from being dislodged.